Are you always beach balling when you're working in Final Cut Pro? Today I've got the fix for you. I'm going to show you the workflow for speeding up your Mac when you're working in Final Cut. But why is your Mac running slow? Typically there are two reasons. One, the files that you're editing with are not entirely compatible with Final Cut Pro. The other reason might be that the actual files are too large, too high res and heavy for your individual machine to handle. Today I'm gonna to show you the two solutions to these problems, they are optimized media and or proxy media. I'm going to explain what they are, how to make them, and when and how to use them. Let's first start with optimized media. Different cameras record at different codecs. For instance, this video was shot using the Sony a7 III, which has a native codec of XAVC. But the ideal codec for Final Cut is called Apple ProRes 422. So when you create optimized media, what you're doing is converting those native files into this ProRes format, so Final Cut just works smoother. But what about proxy files? Proxies are actually lower resolution copies of your original media. So these are files that are lower res and therefore lighter and easier for your Mac to handle. But how do we create these other file types? Let me show you. Here is the media import window in Final Cut. And on the right side of the screen here, you'll see this option here that says transcode. Let's select our first clip and I'm going to enable creating optimized media and creating proxy media. Now with the proxy media, you have some options here. You can choose a ProRes proxy. I'm gonna leave that enabled. And then we can also choose our frame size. So we can have our video clips be the same dimensions as the original files, 50% scale, 25% scale, or all the way down to 12 and a half percent scale. Obviously, the more struggle your machine is having, the lower the scale you want to be for your proxies. I'm gonna leave this at 25% and let's import the selected. But what if you didn't take the step upon import and you realize later that you're struggling in Final Cut? Super easy, I'm going to import another clip this time I'm not going to create optimized or proxy media. And now when I select that clip in my browser, if I right click, I have the transcode media option, and then I'm going to get those same options in a pop-up window again. And if I open up my background tasks, you could see the progress of the transcode and analysis of this clip. But here's something you really need to know about this process. These clips that we're creating are in addition to your original video file. So I'm gonna show you something but I don't recommend you do what I'm about to do, okay? This is just for demonstration purposes only. Here is the Final Cut project we're importing these clips into. I'm gonna right click and select show package contents. If we open up today's event, you're gonna see a few folders here. The first one is original media. These are our original clips from the camera. This other folder is your transcoded media. This is where you can find the optimized clips and the proxies that you made. So the optimized clips are called high quality media. And you can see that even though we transcoded this one on import and then this one after the fact, they're both in this transcode media folder. And if I open them up, they're the same dimensions as the original clips. Let's go back and find our proxies. And you can see when we open these up that it's much smaller in scale than our original clip. Let's dive into it even more. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the info on all of these clips. So our original clip is 321 megabytes, but you can see that Final Cut is struggling a little bit to open the preview, whereas the other two previews were readily available. This next one is the optimized media. Look at how much bigger the optimized media is from the original. And then of course our proxy is a fraction of the size of the original clip. So when you create optimized and proxy files, you may be speeding up your edit, but you're sacrificing a lot of space. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. If you don't feel like you need to transcode your media, you don't have to because they do take up a lot of space. All right, let's dive right back into Final Cut and I'll show you how to edit with these clips. Here we are back in Final Cut. In your viewer under the view dropdown, you can see that by default, your media playback is set to optimized and original. Since we've optimized these clips, Final Cut is going to be pulling from the optimized versions when we edit with them in Final Cut. If we wanna speed up our edit, head up to view and select proxy preferred. 
Now you can clearly see in my viewer that the quality of the video has been greatly diminished. But these proxies come in super handy when your Mac is running really slow here in Final Cut, particularly if you're doing a multi-cam edit. And if you don't know what multi-cam editing is, I will link to a very popular video I have down below that covers that entirely. So multi-cam editing is a great example of when proxies are your best friend. But you wanna make sure that you set your media playback settings back to optimized original before you color correct or before you export. And then there's one more step you're going to want to take once you've wrapped up this project entirely. If you're archiving this Final Cut library and you wanna save space, you need to do this. Select the library in your sidebar, head up to File file and select delete generated library files. And it's going to ask you what library files you want to delete. You want to delete the render files and the optimized and proxy media. This will greatly reduce the size of your Final Cut library so you can save space when you archive the project and maybe like upload it to Dropbox. And if you ever have to revisit the project, you know that you can always retranscode those clips even though you've already imported them. You guys, I hope this helps you banish the beach ball once and for all. If you like this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Picked out some other videos I know you're going to love. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you again.